Hello, and welcome to our discussions about the network layer, which is the layer three of the internet protocol stack. We will start learning about the network layer by exploring two main functions offered at this layer of the internet protocol stack, routing and forwarding. We will see that these functions are provided through two main interacting parts, routing performed at the control plane and forwarding at the data plane. We will then discuss the architecture of a router, which is the device used for processing network datagrams at the core of the network, and see what each of these parts perform at the device level. After this brief introduction, we will start exploring each of the data plane and control plane. One important note is that we will discuss two completely different approaches of providing the network layer service, which are the distributed and the centralized solutions. The distributed solution used traditionally will include routing algorithms and traditional forwarding. We will also discuss fairly new software-defined networking solution, which introduced centralization at the control plane and consequently affecting changes in the data plane that we will see. Let's jump right in. The network layer of the internet protocol stack is responsible for receiving segments from the transport layer on the sending side and encapsulating them into data graphs. Then, delivering them from the sending host to the receiving host. And finally, on the receiver side, delivering these segments to the transport layer. Remember that application and transport layer protocols were communicating at the two ends of the communication, sending and receiving applications and sending and receiving processes. Network layer protocols, though, run in every host and router. Otherwise, the host-to-host -host communication was not possible. Routers in the core of the network examine the header fields in the datagrams when they pass through. We will discuss these details in this module. The two main functions of the network layer which are main functions deriving the core of the packet switch networks, are routing and forwarding. Routing determines the routes taken by packets from the source to the destination. Forwarding, based on the information decided during routing, moves packets from router's input to the appropriate router output. This could be compared to finding the path from your home to your friend's home and taking the turns accordingly in each intersection. Finding the whole path is similar to routing and deciding the turns on each intersection, which still depends on the whole path, is similar to forwarding. 